Hi everyone, so this is obviously by the title of my first video. Um, this is the look I'm doing. This is just my everyday kind of casual look. I mean, this isn't my like, sure, I just slapped on some mascara look. This is my kind of like, I tried, but I'm not trying so hard to impress you. Um, this is it. This is the final look. Um, if you wanna see how I did it, just keep on watching. Okay. So first, I'm going to start with concealer. I've already moisturized my face. Um, I did my mom's. I'm not sure what she uses, but I'll link it down below. Um, this is just the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I am the shade Ivory because I'm super pale. Um, also, I wore my glasses today, so I'm sorry. I am super blind. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes, mostly because when I tend to find that when I wear my glasses a lot, I get like dark circles under there and it's not my best look ever. And then I just kind of put it in spots where like I feel like I need it because sometimes I do have really red cheeks. Um, so I just blend that out, typically just with my fingers. Okay, and then when I'm done, I will go in with my like kabuki brush. Um, this one's from BH Cosmetics. I got it years ago, so I'm not sure if you can still get it. Um, it is kind of dirty. It has some powder on it. Um, I'm going to use it again anyway, but I usually just go over top then and just kind of smooth out anything that like my fingers didn't get. Because sometimes I can find when I use my fingers, it'll leave like my fingerprint in there. And I don't want to be walking around with my fingerprint on my face. Um, so next I'm going to do my eyes and my absolute favorite is my e.l.f. eye primer. Um, it just holds really nicely for me and I have oily eyes so sometimes eyeshadows won't stay on with other primers because I just tend to like gather up oil in my crease and then it just like is a creasy mess. Put concealer on my eyes to cover up my veins because I have really veiny eyes. But if I'm doing like a full on like glamorous look, then I'll conceal. But since it's just an everyday look, I'm just going to leave the veins, the veins out. It's time for them to shine. Um, okay, so then I'm going to go in with, um, I'm going to use my Morphe M518 brush, um, and I am using my Stila in the light eyeshadow paddle, palette, um, I don't think you can get this anymore, I did crack the mirror, but it is my most beloved palette, um. And I'm just going to take this color, Bliss, just a little bit all over my brush. And then I dip it just a little bit in sandstone, this like dark brown. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyes. So just like that, and then I do go in with the same brush, just a tiny, tiny bit into the shade Bare, and I'm just going to put it on like my brow bone, and then once I have most of the product off of my brush, I'm going to go in between the two shades and just kind of blend it a little more. So once that part's done, 
I'm gonna go in with my Eco Tools dual ended brush. It's got this like fat side and then it has like this eyeliner side. Um, and I'm just gonna go into this black shade called Ebony. And I'm just kind of coat the brush in it. And obviously let me tap off the excess. Um, and then I'm just gonna line my eyes. And I'm gonna keep it really thin and as close to the lash line as I can. Um, this doesn't always work for me because sometimes I get a little wobbly and then I end up with a really thick line that I didn't want, but you just have to work with it. Just start on this outer edge. Oops. Um, I always start on this outer edge and I'm constantly going back into this black shade just so that I don't have any weird spots that are patchy and kind of grayish. Um. But I just start tapping on the outer edge and I just get this outer edge looking good first and then I slowly work my way in. And then I do have a little bit of fallout underneath. And I'm just gonna smudge it away and fix up anything under my eyes so that way I'm not walking around with like a black streak under my eye. I'm gonna move on to my MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is my absolute holy grail powder. I know it's not cheap. It's like $34 a thing, but I think it just does the job magically. Um, so like I said before, I'm super pale. My shade is N4. Um, you know, you just gotta work with what you got. Um, so then I go back in with that Kabuki brush that I went in with earlier for the concealer. And I just kind of swirl it around. This one might be a little harder for me because it's practically gone. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of load up this brush as much as I can. And then I start down on my chin. And just kind of like work it in just kind of I guess buffing in a sense and I always get down here it is powder so it's not that obvious if I have a line and just kind of like buff it in and make it look as less powdery as possible Right under the eyes, I really try and get my brush really in there as much as I can and just kind of like it, work it in. And then it does come with a sponge in here too underneath and I do go in there sometimes for like touch-ups if I need the extra coverage or if I'm just not happy with my under eye, I'll just go back in with the sponge and just kind of like pat it out. mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I have the Lancome Monsieur Big. Um, that's French, right? Yeah, I think that's French. If anyone knows how to say that right, please let me know. Um, this is the waterproof one. I am not a huge fan of waterproof, but sometimes I do like waterproof just because it holds the curl better and it lasts longer, but it's a pain to take off. So I'm quickly just gonna pop this on. Next, I'm gonna do bronzer. Um, I use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Who on this planet right now isn't using this? I think a majority of people are. And I'm gonna go in with my Sephora brush. This is the Pro Flawless powder poudre 40 um it's just this really big brush it's not my favorite brush in the world it is kind of harsh but it does the job with my bronzer i like having a fluffier brush for it just because i feel like it really disperses it and blends it out flawlessly and i just i just like it and 
and I just put it kind of like on the top of my cheeks where it would normally hit me. And like I did before, I just, I do hit the top of my nose just because I feel like it's more natural, especially for me since I'm really pale, I feel like it just kind of makes it look more natural. Like I do kind of have a bronze to me, but not excessively to where, you know, my face is super bronzed. My body is absolutely stark white. And then I do go under a little and onto the neck just because my neck is usually paler anyway. I definitely cannot catch a tan for the life of me and self tan does not help so if you notice my fingernails please try to erase them from your memory because I had a really bad self tanning accident where I forgot to wash my hands so now I have tanned fingernails. I just kind of run this along my neck. I do have a weird tan because I went to spring break in Mexico right now, or not right now. Um, I went in March, but I only tanned on my back and some of my chest. And it wasn't even that great of a tan, so it's just kind of wonky everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Milani Luminoso blush. Um, it's very well loved. It's not my absolute favorite blush. My favorite blush is the Tarte blush that comes in the Aspen Ovard palette. That by far is my favorite blush. That one's just the perfect pink. Um, this is just what I have on hand right now. It just kind of, I wish it was less glow. I mean, I know it's called Luminoso, but I wish it was less glow and more just pink. I wish it just gave me a little more I don't know what I'm trying to say. And then I'm just using this with my Real Techniques um, blush brush. I'm just gonna take it on the apples and I just kind of work it up kind of into that bronzer that I just did and just like tie it all together and you know if it's I want it to kind of be on my cheeks and be like a bronzer blush blend um, I don't do a whole lot whatever's left on my brush I just run on my forehead my nose and my chin and I do brows um, I'm not a huge brow person just because I feel like I don't need that much in my brows to begin with anyway I'm pretty happy with my brows normally um, but I do just fill them in a little bit with my elf powder um, I'm in the shade medium and it comes with this gel and a powder I just use the powder um, the gel is okay I just don't feel like I need it so I just use the powder and I take it on this random brush. It is like squarish, if you can see that. Um, I like filling my brows with this. I'm not really a brow pencil girl, although I haven't really discovered that many that I am into. Um, if, you, <laughs> if you have any good brow pencils that you think I should try, just comment down below. Um, I'm not really, I don't know what it is. I'm just not that into brows. Like everyone's on this huge brow craze and I, I really could care less. When I watch other videos, I just kind of, I skip through them, honestly. As much as I would love to sit there and watch a brow tutorial, it's not really my thing. Kind of lightly go in with this. Just because this shade is a little 
warm for my brows. Um, it does give me some nice color, but it is a little warm. So if I go too heavy, then I have like these orangey brows and you can just see right through it and it's just not cute. Last thing I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can kind of see. Um, I'm going to put on a little highlighter. This is my little mini Becca in Opal. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of this at first, but it's kind of grown on me. I thought it was too golden. Um, I want something a little cooler, I guess, but I'm just gonna pop that on real quick on my cheekbones. I'm not really careful about where I put it and I kind of like to blend it a little bit and I'm not I'm not a huge highlighter person. I don't like boom highlighter like holy crap I just hit you with a pile of highlighter bricks but that's just me. Sometimes I get a little crazy and adventurous and I just whack it on if I know no one's gonna see it but if I'm going out and I know people are gonna see me I kind of like to tone it down a little bit. Um, and then lastly, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It really depends on my mood and how much makeup I feel like wearing. Um, this is my MAC lipstick. It's in the shade Fast Play. It is one of my favorite shades ever. It's that, like, perfect kind of your lips but better color. So I'm just going to quickly put this on. Okay. So that's it for my makeup. I'm gonna quickly hop off, go do my hair, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I did my hair. I just curled it. Um, if you guys wanna see a video on it, I can do that. I think it's really boring though. It's the most basic thing ever. Um, but yeah, this is just how it looks. Um, this is the end, the eyes. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'll come back with a new video and hopefully that one I can be super creative and just colorful with because I never do those and when I do on a slight occasion they're super super fun so thanks for watching